And staying with President Moon's state visit to Russia, he says cooperation with Russia is the key for peace on the Korean Peninsula, adding that he wants a Russian railway to extend through North Korea all the way to South Korea's southeastern port city of Busan. Our Blue House correspondent Hwang Ho-jun reports. When it comes to establishing peace and seeking mutual prosperity, South Korean President Moon Jae-in stressed how imperative Russia's role is in the region. President Moon said the bilateral relationship between Seoul and Moscow is the key to open the gates of Eurasia, which the South Korean leader called a land of great opportunity. The comments were made as President Moon made history, delivering a speech at the State Duma, the lower house of Russia's Federal Assembly on Thursday, becoming the first South Korean president ever to do so. During the speech, President Moon noted his Russian counterpart's vision of an era of peace and co-prosperity among Eurasian nations, or the, quote, New East policy, is in sync with his own, quote, New Northern policy, the Moon administration's key diplomatic policy to expand South Korea's diplomatic and economic horizons with its Eurasian neighbors. According to President Moon, such efforts would see the two countries developing new growth engines, while Seoul keeps its promise to develop Russia's Far East. President Moon said the Korean people's desire for peace and prosperity is not limited to the Korean Peninsula, but involves all of Northeast Asia. And with that, President Moon introduced his vision for a trilateral partnership between Seoul, Pyongyang, and Moscow. President Moon identified railroads, natural gas, and electricity networks as the most promising sectors for cooperation among the three countries. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.